In this video tutorial, learn how to restore a website backup in cPanel. This is my example website, which all files were deleted including the database. I will restore this website from the backup files that were created from cPanel backups. You can check out my other video tutorial on creating these backups, the link is down below. In your cPanel dashboard or control panel, go to the files section. Click on the backup icon. Go to home directory and choose the backup file you want to restore. Click the upload button. These backup files were created from the cPanel backups seen on the left side. You can watch my video tutorial on how to create these backups. Link is down below. Wait for the restore process to complete. This may take several minutes depending on the size of your backup file. Next, do the same for the database restore. Select the database file and click on upload. Lastly, if you have any email backups, you can restore them here. I don't have any, so I will skip. Once the restore process is complete, you should check your website to make sure everything is working correctly. For every website with a database, you will see an error establishing a connection. Let's fix this problem by heading back to cPanel. Go to the MySQL databases. Let's create a database user. Enter in new username and password. Then click on the button to create the user. Now go back and scroll down to the section add the user to the database. Make sure to select the correct user and database from the drop down list, then click the add button. Select all privileges and then click the button to make the changes. The last thing we need to do is add the database username and password to our site database configuration file. Go to the cPanel file manager. Look for your website's config file, usually it will have the name with the word config in its file name. For WordPress it is wp-config. Then click edit to edit this file. This is the scariest part. You have to find and replace the database username and password. For WordPress it'll look like this. Again, all you have to do is make sure to replace the database user with the exact same username and password that was just created. For other sites running different PHP scripts, it'll look similar. You will still need to replace the database user and password somewhere in the config file. Ok that's all, now click on save changes. Let's refresh my example site here. That's how easy it is to restore a website with a database in cPanel. You can use this method to move websites between different hosting servers or hosting companies with cPanel accounts. If your site does not have a database, it is a lot easier. You will only need to do a home directory restore and skip the database uploading part. I hope this video helps. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thank you for viewing and have a wonderful day.